All right, back again, WVO Designs. Um, so it doesn't really work having a uh, vegetable oil converted truck if you don't have a means to get oil, clean it, and get it into your truck easily. Uh, so I'm gonna walk you through my gas station I built in my backyard. It's also kind of the, the cleaning station. So here it is. Uh, I built it all out of slab wood from our sawmill. So minus the siding and a couple two by fours for the roof. Uh, I built it for free. This was my attempt at passive solar, which kind of failed horribly. Uh, just not enough surface area. But I found that even in negative 10 degree weather, uh, the veg didn't freeze, which is pretty cool. So let's go inside. It's a little messy in here right now. Uh, here are all my juggies. But basically, this is what's going on. So I have a first tank, <clears throat> and I have a little screen up there. It's another juggie with a bunch of screens in to get all the big chunkies out. And then uh, there's a hose that goes down into the bottom of the tube. So the new stuff coming in pushes the old stuff up. It then goes from there into the next tank with another hose going down. Once again, pushing the older stuff up, giving it time to settle and all the sediments and water and crap to get to stay at the bottom. And then from there, it goes into my final tank. For my final tank, I have my gravity-fed valve, uh, your regular centrifuge with the heater and I also have that special cap thing you guys sell in there so turn that on so basically just flip the switch for the heater turn it on let it warm up I found that I let it run into this juggy for I don't know a couple minutes uh, while it does, gets its thing gets all warmed up and then I put it into my final 55 gallon drum from there I can pressurize it using this compressor and uh, close the top off and then I open the valve and I pump it right into my truck. Works pretty slick. Um, so yeah, I mean on the bottom here I have, you know, some, some, uh, some valves and hoses to drain all the junk every once in a while. And uh, that's also my overflow valve for the centrifuge. I'll give you a quick shot from up top here. So hard to see with the glare but this is the uh, the screen top and then this is all full it goes into this tank which is full and uh, actually just ran a bunch so my last tank is pretty close to empty but uh, yeah that's about that and uh, sweet hopefully uh, you guys learned something but yep all slab wood all built myself uh, so pretty cool Thanks a lot, guys.